Hey guys, it's Roxy here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the Ion North America um, Shugo Emperor Vault event that is happening from now till the 22nd of August. So, um, we're going to go in and clear this vault. Now first you get the transformation from that ranger. And then if you check the score, you can see how much you need to get a great S. Now a great S gives you six rusted keys, while a great A only gives you four. So there is a difference in that. Now there are five skills in this entire transformation that we're using. Skill one is a area skill. Skill two is also an area skill, but skill two is more powerful. Skill three is a pull, like a Templar pull. Skill 4 is a heal and skill 5 is a shield. So I tend to go in, use skill 3, and then after I'll try to spam 2 whenever I can because skill 2 is really powerful and it has one of the shortest cooldowns. And then in between, I'll just keep using skill 1. Okay? So right here, we will encounter this box, okay, while you kill the mobs. Uh, the box is really good because it gives you like extra potions that you can use for this event. Um, it also gives you some extra like health and stuff like that. So do remember to loot this box, open this box. While skill 4 heals you, uh, it's not always the case. Another thing I like to point out is that this is the like boss before the we enter the vault now ideally you need to clear this boss before you get below six minutes because if you can do it below six minutes that gives, that gives you six minutes to like fight the all the other bosses inside the vault uh, this entire instance is only eight minutes long so I know it's kind of tight so try your best to be quick <laughs> now once you're in here uh, we do try to use skill one to like basically kite all the mobs uh, because the first boss there are a series of I think like five bosses here and the first boss comes out at the 50,000 points marker so once you can kite as many mobs as you can uh, alternate skill 1, skill 2, kill all of them as much as you can and then after that try to hit 50 once you hit 50 the first boss will come out so he's not difficult and he always appears at the same location not so if you can see he's right over there but I'm just gathering as much mobs as I can along the way because sometimes you need like filler points in between so this is our first boss try to kill him um, the second boss will appear quite quickly after him um, and then if you don't if she doesn't come out just you know like kill more mobs or kite more mobs <laughs> Oh, and here's our second boss. So the same, you do the same, basically spam skill 1 and 2, uh, skill 3 whenever you can. Skill 2 has a longer cooldown, so do take note of that. But spamming skill 2 really helps because it's going to reduce the time it takes to kill the bosses, therefore activating the next boss quicker and quicker and quicker. Um, I believe the third boss is based on having like a 100 hundred thousand points or like I can't remember like 150,000 points I think so um, they all come out based not based on time but based on the amount of points you have currently so when you're free just you know like kite the mobs and then um, kill them as much as you can the next boss should come out <laughs> This third 
boss, the sorcerer, should give you enough points to hit 200,000. And that's when the fourth boss, which is like the captain, will get triggered to come out. Uh, if you don't hit 200,000... Oh, now, okay, now we've just exceeded 150,000. So, um, if you... So once you kill the third boss, you need to get enough points to hit 200,000 so that you can trigger the fourth boss to come out. So there's a lot of like basically kiting him around. Once you hit 200,000, you just kind of wait at the spot where all the bosses come out and here's our fourth boss. He's the one before the final boss. So just remember like your timing um, markers. I like to keep about a minute or... I guess a minute and 30 seconds for the final boss so you do have to like take note of how long you're taking to you know like kill these bosses <laughs> And you see we've just hit uh, 450 points, 450,000 points. Um, so now we're just gonna sort of like kite the mobs and then try to hit 500,000. Because the 500,000 marker is when the final boss Gerard comes out. So um, I've been in situations where you know I was stuck at the 450 walking around waiting for the final boss to come out he doesn't come out it's simply because i just did not know that i didn't have enough points for that so if you don't have enough points just kite more mobs now gerard is annoying um not that he's difficult to kill but rather he has this skill that kind of fears you and make you run away which is this that you just see so what I tend to do is I tend to put on skill 5, the shield, whenever I can. Now remember to heal yourself periodically through um, each of the different bosses. I use a mixture of skill 4 along with the potions that were given. Um, I find the shield, even though it slows down your movement, it actually what you see like I'm running away because I got feared but because I'm on a shield, it slows down my movement, so I can't run far, and therefore it's easier to kill um, Gerard. Yeah, and there we have it, grade S, okay? So it's not based on timing, but rather on points. Now, why is grade S important? It's because uh, with grade S, you have six rusted keys, and six rusted keys lets you open two big boxes. Now, the small boxes are one key, but the big boxes are actually three keys. And so if you only got an A, that's like one big box and, you know, one small box or you get like four small boxes, right? So in that sense, try to maximize your runs. Um, yeah, and you get pretty good stuff from actually the big boxes too. So I've gotten things that I don't get in the small boxes. So it's quite cool. Okay, and um, that's all for my Shugo Emperor run. I hope you enjoy my video. If you do, please, you know, like, like share, and subscribe. Um, I do make more Hogwarts Legacy videos now than Ion, but I try to update whenever I can. Thank you.